Hi, reading team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. And yes, I'm still recovering from COVID right now. And this is why my voice is totally shot. Uh, but, but what I wanted to do is because we just had a class this morning is I wanted to make this video. It talks about how to manage stress and learn content. Uh, hopefully, reading team, you can take this to heart. And honestly, I think this goes for everyone that's taking these classes and these exams. Um, you have to find a balance between managing learning content and managing stress. Because if you get too stressed out on these exams, you won't be able to acquire any knowledge. So there's got to always be a balance. Okay, so use this video to help you think about how you're going to approach your studies. Hi, reading team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Just want to give you a quick message before Sunday's second lab. You know, um, this class is a balancing act between learning content and managing the stress of these exams and the world. And what can happen is if you um, get overwhelmed with content, then that stress takes over and, and you don't learn anything, right? And so we, we have to find a balance between learning content and not getting too stressed out. So, so one way of doing that, one way of countering stress is to, to throw yourself into your studies and, and really get to know the concepts behind the exam. And what happens is you go from uh, fearing the exam to really feeling confident with the content in each of the sections. So if that's you, if you're a teacher that's feeling very uncomfortable because you don't know the area, the content areas, throw yourself into these uh, sections, okay? Post awesome com uh, comments. Learn the vocabulary. Get through as many of these as you can. That is one way of managing stress, okay? By just focusing on learning content. And, and by making interesting, uh, posting comments, by going through the videos, this is one way of interacting with the class, okay? Here's another way. Uh, and, and, and this way is very different, but I think equally as important. Do something like this, completely opposite, completely opposite than hardcore studies. Create a creative poster, a poster with an original name, five colors, over the top positive. You know, team, this isn't a waste of time. It is actually a way of focusing you and, and keeping it light. Because what will happen is if you, if you go the other route, you're going to get overwhelmed. So keep it light. You're not the first teacher to take the test, all right? And everyone knows that these exams are very challenging. So don't get swept up like that. If you do decide to do a poster, you don't have to do a poster. But if you do decide to do a poster, have fun with it. Be creative with it. Take a little bit of time with it. This is to offset your heart, your studies in these other areas. So you're probably going to work really hard in this section of the class. And to offset all that hard studies, come up with something creative and fun. Okay? Remember, your team poster, it's an original name. So your team poster can't look like, uh, <laughs> like, a, uh, like a, a copy of a poster on the website. And it's got to have a little bit of time in it. Like we got to be able to read it to the best. Or you, you got to write. You got to put a little bit of time into it. Okay. You want it to be creative and fun and positive. Look at this one. How positive. This is awesome, right? This is from a teacher, Ashley, that took the foundations of reading. So, so when you do this, have fun with this. Okay. And this is a counter to all your hard work that you're going to be doing here. Both are really important. This is the balancing act between content and managing stress. Use this as a way to manage the stress, okay? All right, team, I'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. Have a great day, take care. All right, team, uh, tomorrow I will be feeling much better, I hope, and I will see you in class. Take care, team, bye-bye.